Hey everyone, and welcome to part 14 of Spyro Year of the Dragon. So, like I said, and actually I don't know if I said it in the last episode, I always have a habit of saying that without actually doing it. Though we did do Bentley and Sparks, but there is a level where we need Hunter, and that will be Lost Fleet. And Hunter does get kidnapped here eventually, so technically speaking, this is the level we want to go to. Now, this has four, uh, we are currently at 4,000 gems, and I believe if we beat this level, we'll have 4,600. And be okay. Careful around these parts, little dragon. There'll be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake me pick yet. Darn shame too, because I was mighty close to finding me treasure. Okay, so some random mole dude is looking for his treasure and Oh that was bull, man. These aren't real ghosts, these are just rhinox. Go figure it's just these losers. Anyways, let's just take them down. I decided to do this before my shower just so I have some stuff to render while I'm having my shower because sometimes it takes a while and oh. This level is actually very difficult with how these enemies are. Now this guy actually does lead you to where you're supposed to go, which is kind of nice. Though it's kind of corny that he can't do anything himself. He's just like, hey, can you do this for me? Yeah, and these ones aren't as... It's kind of like the cannon from the uh, Icy Peak level, except now we actually have normal cannons, so it looks more like, I don't know, Spiral 1 type graphics? I, I really don't know how to explain it. Okay, can you just die already, Bird Brain? Man. Can you die already, man? Die, Bird! There we go, bird brain down. Well, let's go back and make sure we have all the gems. I know there is an island over there that we can get gems on. Don't worry, I won't miss that. I just meant back here. Yeah, see there's plenty of small gems over this way. The music here, it kind of reminds me of like a mix between Spyro uh, 1 and 2. Which is actually how a lot of music is in the Spyro series, it's just, uh, remixes of previous music. Which isn't bad, but at the same time kind of lame that they couldn't come up with other music. Okay, that was bull, man. I had no time to get away from that crab. That's right, you die, freak. Okay, now this... These things are actually used for killing these guys. Well, at least knocking their, uh, uh, I guess, blanket off. They're just dressed up as ghosts, they're not actual ghosts. And thank you very much for the moolah, fool. Okay, these enemies here are just cruel. It's like, hey, bitch, here, eat this. Claw attack to the face. Now this is honestly probably one of the more difficult of the levels in this world. Uh, for not really... I don't know, it's just, it has two difficult eggs to get. And actually then there's another egg that's pretty annoying to get, so... About half the eggs are pretty annoying. Now we got more birds, and I believe this is technically the ending of the level though, yet yeah, you've seen that ledge with all those gems. Yeah, you actually have to leave the area to get there. It's And there we go. Bird taken care of. Now I can go over here. And there is stuff in that lava, so you can tell that we will have to go in there. But we don't know how. Or do we? Would you look at that? There's some fool who hit a dang gum egg in me treasure. Well, I'll happily take that. Uh, that uh, dang gum egg. And you don't actually give it to me. That's really weird. Anyway, we got Craig. The first egg of the level, actually. Which is technically for beating the level. Now, if you come in here, this is where you get the invincibility shield to swim through the lava. Though, it doesn't last very long, so be very careful. And that's just to exit the level. Or to go back to the beginning. Now, you can use this whirlwind to go up onto the ship. Looks like we have more birds to deal with here. 
And also, we can glide all the way over here into yonder mouth. Which brings us to some kind of little portal. Ah, this one. Okay, so we'll ride the sub, and we have to destroy these Rhinox and other fish subs. Their fish subs happen to be red, I believe. And you have to lock on. Which is the sad part. Because it's very difficult to lock on on the second difficulty one. And they can actually shoot you sometimes, too. Fruitcake. He just avoided my missile. Hey, Sally Weathers, take this. You know what? Let's let's break that so we can get the gems. Uh, sad part is though is we can't actually get the gems ourselves. Like in the form we're in, we actually have to come back to Spyro with that invincibility shield we see. There we go. Yeah, and hold down X to speed up. And that should be taken care of. Whoa, I don't know how he avoided locking on when he was right there in front of me. And he did it again, like, I was clearly locked on, but the missile just stopped going. There we go, now he is dead, and the other one is down there, so that means we can probably cut him off here. And yeah, see, they're actually very smart submarines. They know how to do it just right where they can swerve around and completely knock off your lock-on. And... Come on, hit him. There we go. Well, I'll be done. Anyways, we now have Ethel. Well, I, I hate to ask you. And we have to get it again. So, yeah, I believe instead of six, there's seven. Yeah, there's one more, but now they leave mines behind, which, if they hit you, you lose the challenge. They don't actually upright kill you, like make you lose a life or anything, but they do, you know, cause you to lose the challenge, which is extremely annoying. And you're gone. Good thing the mines don't block your misses, though. One thing I do like. Okay, where is that guy going? And now he's going back down. Why'd you lock onto him? I'll I'll happily take whatever one I can get, but come on. Okay, he's gone. Okay, he he goes in a set path up and down. Okay, that is really nice to know. Oh wait, no, he actually turns every now and then. Okay, this guy is going to be annoying. I, I just know it. He already is. That's why I already know it. There we go! He is taken care of. Thank the lord of swimming lava that we killed him. Okay, I see nothing lock on. Sometimes you actually have to go in these tunnels to push them out. And he should be gone. Yep. As long as he doesn't poop out of mine, we should be good. Well, at least I'm mining the tunnel, if you know what I mean. There we go, now that just leaves one more fish sub. Trust me, this isn't the annoying one. This one may take a little bit to do, but this is not the one that is excruciatingly difficult. That one is coming up. Like, it's not impossible to do by any means, and can be done fairly easily, if, you're, if you have luck. And see what I mean? Like, the lock-on doesn't really lock on properly. So like clearly it should have homed on him, not into the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna push you out, frigger. I wish I could drive faster than this. I drive so slowly. 
I've got nobody for my own. Ah, I seen him see me. That was funny. He's like, oh shit. He's gonna get me. Yeah, we'll just wait patiently for him right here. There we go. And there we go. We just had to cut him off in the tunnel. Which gives us the third egg of the level, known as Dolores. Thank you. Now I do need to go and grab me some gems. It's weird how this thing is right here. And they re-broke out. That's funny. Ugh. Sadly, this thing doesn't actually last as long as you'd hope. Sparks is very delayed at grabbing my gems today. Don't know why. Alright, we'll grab our power up back again. Like, there are a lot of gems in here. Like, this is probably where a majority of the gems actually are. Well, actually, it's not as many as you think. Okay, I already got the ones in there. I don't believe you instantly die in this gunk either. You do take damage. I'll have to come back up there for the gems. Okay. Now we're up here, so we should be able to grab all the gems. I mean, can you use sparks to track all the gems? Okay, sparks. Okay, there's no gems in here anymore. Okay, good. We can now leave. Thank you, Sparks. And you don't get to take your invincibility with you. It's a sad world, but it's it has to be. Okay, anyways, we'll continue on this way. Anyways, we have to go back up here. I didn't quite kill the birds yet, so we have to take uh, this cannon and use it to our advantage. Hey, bird brain. I gotta find where the what pathway the bird brain goes in. There we go, bird brain down. Uh, other bird brains. There we go, I'll just happily take down that bird, thank you. Let's see, can we hit this one from here? And yes we can. Do you believe there's another bird, right? Any birds? Okay, you can never be too sure about birds. They could be anywhere and everywhere. Happily collect that junk. Oh wait, actually there is a little something you gotta do though. And now I believe you have to do this. Like go into that cave over there, you know. You see right across the way? Okay. Did I get it? Did I get it? No, I didn't get it. Darn it. Wait. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I need this cannon to get it. Darn it. I had it all backwards. I'm sorry, guys. I need this cannon. And it's right over there. Why is that blowing up right there? There you go. Thank you. And I do believe a whirlwind opened up, to, uh, uh, up at the beginning. Yes, it did. 
now means we can go and grab all this stuff. And sad part is this is going to be a longer level, so I do apologize if the video is a lot longer. Crap, can you just die? Like, most of you guys come and attack me, that one crab didn't. And just like Spyro 2, these crabs were worth like no money. Well, actually, they weren't worth money in that game in general, but you know what I mean. Okay, now let's fly over into the ship. You know, let's take this first. We'll grow and grab all this lava stuff. There should be an egg that we can get doing this, though. I believe it's in here. Yeah, here's the egg that you get. Which is Chad. Which is now four eggs. And I do know where the last two are, so that is good news for us. Okay, then that just leads back there, so is there a way... Is it can go back here to get back up. Yeah, see, I've already been playing for 16 minutes, and we're not even close to being done. Well, we're close to being done, but not quite. Like, it's one of those levels that can go on for quite a bit. I promise to get done, and holy cow, there's a lot of crabs. That was bull! There's nothing I could do about that crab. And why did I fall off? Okay, thank you very much. Let's check down these crabs. Yeah, see, now we have that. And that should be where our last two eggs are. And most of the last gems. I do believe that we are still missing some gems in the lava, plus in that one cave, but we'll just have to double check. After we do this challenge, away! Yes, more Rhinox, guys, more Rhinox. So let's collect all of these. Now we actually have to race the Rhinox. Yeah, and we actually need to do tricks and shit in this to, uh, apparently that didn't work. To get that boost. Or you can destroy the crabs. Crabs are also worth boost, apparently, because, you know, crabs are apparently fuel. Woohoo! And apparently that missed. What kind of power up is that if it freaking misses? And here we go again on... Oh, come on! That was bull! Get out of here. No one likes a show-off. Unless it's me. Then everyone loves me. Okay. Woo! Yahoo! Yeah! Now we also got a missile too if we need to kill the enemies. I'm not really a fan of these skateboarding challenges though, and trust me, the next one gets even more difficult. And this isn't even the last skateboarding challenge in the game. We do have to do it again, but apparently Hunter's too injured to do it, so technically it's all up to us to do like this ultimate skateboarding level. Woohoo! And we should win. And there we go. Yes! Yes! We schooled them and got Oliver. Now that the Rhinox and now we gotta hit his, or beat his, which now means we gotta not only, you know, beat him, we also gotta kill all the crabs. Mm. 
frick. I don't know if we're gonna win now. Though I do believe you can knock Hunter off his bar. Okay, no, we gotta restart that race. That went too terrible. And then he doesn't even have like, you know, you failed, wanna try again. It's like, oh, the you're not actually gonna say shit to me because, you know, I'll kick your ass, Hunter. It's like, does he really need to do this all over again? Like, we already proved that we can beat him at tricks and stuff. We re really need to prove to him that we can beat him at racing. There we go, we'll knock him off his board. Whoa. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay. Okay, now we'll just take this so we can grab these crabs down here. Boom, Shaka Krabalaka. Oh, come on. And I think we actually beat him. Yes! She. So we only had to do it once, luckily, and sorry for the lack of commentary there, that's actually extremely annoying. And anyways, we got Aiden, which is our last egg here, bringing us to 88 eggs. So, now we gotta just look for all the gems that we're missing here. And apparently we're missing gems behind us. Okay, so we're not missing any there. Okay, it's just behind us. So, behind us... Where exactly, Sparks? Wait, what? Oh, right there, maybe? Is where he's pointing at? Yeah, those are all the gems. Okay, good. And do you actually have to race, dude? Like, see... No, stop that. Don't spawn me right in front of that. Thank you very much. Hey. Wait, did I say this is part 13 or part 14? I meant to say this is part 14 if I didn't say part 14. I don't quite remember if I said that or not. Okay, I'll just go back here. Now I'll go collect those gems that we need to, and then I believe there's some more in the lava. And we'll just use Sparks to hunt him down, since luckily in the, was it the last episode or the episode before, we actually got the ability to find gems, which helps us out a hell of a lot in this game. Since you don't get it right away, at least in Spyro 2 you got it right away. Okay. Now let's grab all these gems that lurk inside here. Excuse me, and now we gotta go all the way back. We have four, five, five, five. Just all those fives. And my computer keeps falling asleep because it's such a long video. I remember back at the beginning of this Let's Play when all the videos were like, um, 10 minutes. <laughs> then all of a sudden, like, the first 20 minute one shows up and it's like, oh. Everyone's like, holy shit! Okay, yeah, Sparks, I do know you're pointing that way. Where are you pointing? Oh, it never mind, it does instantly kill you. Okay. 
And really, you bring us all the way back here? Oh my lord. Oh my lord heavenly. Okay, so, it's pointing... It's pointing over that way, so... We just gotta get there. It is difficult to traverse the, uh... Lava rivers, though, because of, like, you know, how confusing it can be. So, anyways, let's grab this and go in. Okay, now, now we're... We're... What the... F Why is he pointing over there? Oh, wait a minute. You can come down here. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we know where everything is. At least we should be able to find everything here. Wait, why is it pointing up? Oh, did I miss the little island over here? And there we go, guys. We beat the level 100%. So here are 600 gems. Woohoo! Oh, and actually the thing didn't activate. So, anyways, in the next episode, I do believe I know where we're going. So see you guys